Hello. Now we will discuss about estimation of phosphorus by KDS method. We can calculate the percentage of phosphorus by converting that into two different compounds. First and both are KDS methods only. First we will discuss about the conversion into magnesium pyrophosphate. It's very simple. Organic compound which is having phosphorus is treated with fuming HNO3, concentrated HNO3 so that whatever the phosphorus is there that is completely oxidized to H3PO4. Phosphorus is converted to H3PO4 which is then treated with magnesia mixture. What is magnesia mixture? Magnesia mixture is a combination of MgCl2, NH4Cl, ammonium chloride and little amount of ammonia. Magnesium chloride, ammonium chloride and little amount of ammonia is called magnesia mixture. When this magnesia mixture is treated with H3PO4, that H3PO4 will be converted to magnesium ammonium phosphate. MgNH4PO4 magnesium ammonium phosphate is formed on heating this magnesium ammonium phosphate MgNH ammonium phosphate magnesium ammonium phosphate on heating turns into Mg2P2O7 Mg2P2O7 is called magnesium pyrophosphate Mg2P2O7 is magnesium pyrophosphate. So finally all the phosphorus in the organic compound is converted into Mg2P2O7. So the formula for phosphorus is percentage of phosphorus is equals to mass of Mg2P2O7 magnesium pyrophosphate which is formed in the reaction that you can find out experimentally mass of organic compound into here in Mg2P2O7 two phosphorus are there so atomic mass is 62 Mg2P2O7 molecular mass is 222 into 100 mass of Mg2P2O7 divided by mass of organic compound into 62 divided by 222 into 100 like this you can calculate the percentage of phosphorus this is KDS method another also you can do that is also KDS method only in this method first organic compound which contains phosphorus is treated with HNO3 same method so that it is converted to H3PO4 all the phosphorus now in the form of H3PO4 this H3PO4 is when treated with ammonium molybdate we will get here ammonium phosphomolybdate ammonium phosphomolybdate formula is known to you ammonium phosphomolybdate NH4 taken thrice PO4 12 MOO3 we were discussing about this in detection of phosphorus this is a yellow color compound yes if a yellow color compound precipitate or solution is formed we can confirm the presence of phosphorus by using the same technique you can even calculate NH4 3 PO4 12 MOO3 I am writing this as ammonium phosphomolybdate. See here how many phosphorus are there? Only one phosphorus is there. So phosphorus mass in this compound will be 31. Overall this compound molecular mass is 1877. So percentage of phosphorus is equals to as we were discussing mass of ammonium phosphomolybdate NH4 taken thrice PO4 12 MOO3 divided by mass of organic compound there is only one phosphorus in that ammonium phosphomolybdate APM by its molecular mass is 1877 into 100 by applying this formula you can calculate the percentage of phosphorus mass of ammonium phosphomolybdate by mass of organic compound into 31 by 1877 into 100 Otherwise, you can use the previous one where mass of you are using in place of ammonium phosphomolybdate, you are using their magnesium pyrophosphate Mg2P2O7. Mass of organic compound is same into their 62 by 322 into 100. That is magnesium pyrophosphate, and this is ammonium phosphomolybdate. Both you can use.